Good morning, students. After a long time, we are meeting each other. Due to COVID-19, it was impossible for us to conduct the classes. But I hope all of you are taking care and following the guidance of state government and central government by staying at home. So it's my first request to all, stay safe and stay home. Students, <clears throat> now you enter in the ninth standard and we'll have to study the language and literature in ninth standard. So you should know that our syllabus is divided into two parts. First is behind the textbook of literature where we'll have an opportunity to learn the chapters in prose and poetry also. And one more textbook is there. We can say the supplementary reading, reading textbook that is movements. In that chapter, we'll have 10 stories. So today, we are going to learn the first story. The name of the story is The Lost Child. Before to start the chapter, we should know that the writer and his information. The writer is itself Mulkarajan, a very great personality he was. He had been honored by the central government with the Padma Bhushan Award. Padma Bhushan Award. He born on 12 December 1905 and passed away on 28 September 2004 was an Indian writer in English notable for his depiction of the lives of the poor, caste, downtrodden and backwards. He worked under the company with Arkanara and Ahmad Ali and well-known writer Raj Rao, was one of the first Indian best writers in English to gain an international readership. His famous book, novel, Untouchable, published in 1935, followed by other works on the Indian poor such as Kuli in 1936 and Two Lives and Birth in 1937. He is also noted for being among the first writers of incorporate Punjabi and Hindustani idioms into English. And he was a recipient of the civil, civilian honor of the Padma Bhushan. So the great writer Mulkarajana written, wrote a story, The Lost Child. The story starts with four characters. The first character is an innocent boy, father, mother, and a strange person. Dear students, as we know that in the tradition of India, we have much more importance for the spiritual festivals like fair and the festivals, those were related with the fun. Especially in the rural area, the children, they are attracted towards the fun and fair also. So here is the boy, along with his parents, they came in the place of fair, where many more things were there. So the parents, they were walking very fast and boy, boy was following them. But Meanwhile, while thinking to reach at their destiny, there were many more barriers for the boy. The barriers like the boy attracted his mind towards many more attractive things were there. So it has been experienced by his mother and she ordered him, come child come, don't stop. But still, after the order of mother also, the boy was lagging behind and he was unable to walk very fast. Why he was unable to walk, why he was unable to follow the parents, we have to study it. So when he was walking, at that time, he first of all came across with the sweet meat seller and his mind attracted towards the dishes which were available at the corner of sweetmeat cellar. There were dishes like gulab jamun and jalebi and these dishes he wanted to taste. But when he demanded to his parents and he saw the negotiation, <coughs> negative sign from his father, 
then he stopped. When he requested the father, father shows the negative sign through his facial expression and boy, he could not fulfill his wish to taste the sweet dishes which were available to him. Again, boy was walking slowly, slowly and slowly. He was watching, he was observing many more things over there and <coughs> parents were walking fast. The next time, again, there was one flower seller. The flower seller was making the flowers with the gulmore. He was making the garlands with the gulmore's flowers and he was selling the garlands. Boy wanted to buy it. But again, he knew that if I ask to buy to my mother or father, definitely they will not readily accept the desire of mine. So again, he had to compromise his desire to buy the garland. Then boy was working and parents, they were thinking why he was not working fast. Then again, father said to him, come child, come, come very fast. We have to reach at our destiny. But one more obstacle was there. The balloon sailor. Actually, the children, they want, they love the balloons. There were different kinds of balloons over there. Red, yellow, blue. And these balloons attracted his mind and he wanted to buy that balloon. But again, he was unable to buy. That's what it... It was impossible to buy. And that's what he, he became nervous. And the, in the crowd, the parents were walking. He was lagging behind. He was also trying to walk. He was also trying to bridge the gap between the parents and him. But again, when after the sweet meat seller, where he could not buy the sweets, then even he could not buy the garland, even again, he was unable to fulfill his wish to buy the balloons also. Then there was one snake charmer. As we all of you know that in the rural area, there is a one entertainment, one snake charm. He bring one snake and he plays with the snakes. He plays the flute and snake dances on the sound of flute. And it was a entertainment for the people. There was a crowd and boy also wanted to watch it. But he didn't have much more time because his parents, they were not ready to stay and enjoy this kind of <clears throat> fun. But again, boy, he was trying to walk. Even he wanted to enjoy, but he could not. Then, the last is roundabout, where the people, they were enjoying themselves. The roundabout, it moves like circle in the sky, and people, they do enjoy it. So, boy, he wished to taste the sweet, but he was unable. He wanted to buy the garlands, but he could not. He wanted to buy the balloons also, but he was unable to buy. Even he did not have the fun with the snake charmer. And even he wanted to sit in the roundabout also, but it was impossible for him. Then, in the crowd, where roundabout was there, he, he was unable to see the faces of mother and father. And he got shocked, where is my mother and father? And they were walked very fast. Then, he observed the faces of many more people, but there was not the face of mother and father. He started to cry. Where is my mother and my father? But in the crowd, in a, such a noisy environment, no one was ready to listen. Then came one strange person. She tried to find out the reason why innocent boy was crying. And he asked the question. He asked the question, why you are crying? Then boy just replied, I want my mother and father. So 
that strange person he realized that his mother and father might have left the boy alone and then how to identify the mother and father so to distract his mind that strange person tried to make the boy calm down and he did he requested the boy okay we'll find out your mother and father don't worry about that let's first of all we have we will have the sweet dishes boy replied no i don't want he refused it i want my mother and father then again okay he said okay we will take the garlands of flowers then again he started to cry he was crying very deeply and he said that no i want my mother and father so again the strange person said that boy definitely we will find out your mother and father don't worry about that but let's will buy the balloon he said no i don't want to buy the balloon i want my parents and that he was crying continuously even the strange person requested he gave the an opportunity to have a see have a sweet dishes or to buy the things which he wanted to buy this time boy gave the much more importance to the parents see there are, there are two options in front of him earlier he had a parents with him but he was his mind attracted towards the such a attractive or the luxurious things but now the strange person is ready to give him each and every attractive thing but the innocent boy refused it he said that i wanted mother and father actually boy lost here where he was in the round about and when strange person strange person he he wanted to give the boy each and everything but boy refused it so through this story through this chapter we can understand that the love and affection of mother and father is more important than any other attractive or the luxurious things in the world so dear students i hope you understood the story the first chapter of the movie the lost child and i hope all will read the chapters and will try to solve the questions so that's what i made few questions the questions are there short answer questions i give the same short answer questions then long answer questions are there and the personal response types of questions i hope we will go through the slide thoroughly and write down the questions on your notebook and whenever the reopening of the school will be there at that time we will submit to a homework and one more homework we'll have to write down the unfamiliar words from this chapter all students will have to write first of all we have to underline the all unfamiliar or the strange words from the chapter by pencil we will have to write down in the notebook and we will have to write down its meaning also so let's let me take this an opportunity to thank you one on one all of one and all i hope you understood the lesson and we will complete the homework also thank you for your patience listening and all the best for all